right, guys, welcome back to the Independent Investor Channel. Pluralock is a few days away from its uh, earnings call. And coming into this call, it is on fire. Um, to the likes that I have very rarely seen in the stock market. So kudos to all of the Pluralock share owners out there. Um, I am one of those. You guys can check the disclaimers um, in the description below. You can understand my affiliation with the company and providing awareness content like this. But Pluralock is in um, their quiet period right now. It is uh, worth acknowledging this monumental run and explaining what I think actually went into this. Um, understanding when we looked at this uh, opportunity, kind of scratching our heads a little bit, always looking for value in the space, the stock was trading at 20 cents. The company valued it uh, just over 13 million market cap and pulling in revenues of, of 70 million on the top end. Uh, guys, that, that was not sustaining. And I think there was a prolonged downtrend and like many, many times in the market, the market got it wrong for a very, very long time. And the recoil and tension that was built up over that time has just released its energy over the last couple of months, seeing the stock up many, many hundreds of percent. And going into this earnings call, I, I actually think we're entering into a time period of growth for Pluralock to the likes of which we have never seen before um, in, in a company that is in a space right now. The cybersecurity space is red hot, okay? Companies in general are downsizing budgets, but the cybersecurity portion of those very same budgets are actually increasing and not subjected to those cuts. Why? Because services like the ones that Pluralock provide to their clients are critical. They are critical to protecting the IT and infrastructure of these businesses that they serve, and they have to have them. It is just that simple, um, i.e. the value of critical services in relation to Pluralock should be forthcoming on this next call, and I would expect that Ian – uh, provide some level of update on how um, um, incredible their expansion of their critical services business is, uh, as well as some of their legacy businesses are. So guys, let's kick in here and take a look at the Pluralock stock chart uh, over the short term and over the last year as it presents itself. So how did we get to this place with Pluralock Security? Sometimes you'll sit on a stock for years and years and years, and you will watch it every single day, and it will not move. Then you have a situation like this where I think the circumstances were such to present a, a stock and a company on a turnaround that was knocking down multi-million dollar contracts that was so oversold that you couldn't even really quantify at the time we started covering this stock at 20 cents, 20 cents US. And it wasn't that long ago. It was a couple months ago, guys, 20 cents. Since then, Pluralock has been on an absolute tear, an absolute tear. Uh, most people will go to Europe to see monuments like the Eiffel Tower and, and beautiful statues. This in the investing world is what investors consider to be a thing of beauty. Um, this is fairly atypical. Um, I'm not going to suggest that you go out and find um, all kinds of opportunities that present the same opportunity that Pluralock presented um, just a short few months ago. Because when we started to cover this company, the company was trading at 20 cents, 20. It was valued at just over 13 million in market cap. We are staring down a company that has um, approached the 100 million in market cap uh, over the last couple of months. It has grown into its top line revenue. Uh, the company is reporting here in about five days. I expect that to report to continue to fuel the stock because this action is backfilling value 
that we identified at 20 cents US. So for you guys out there that are enjoying this appreciation, continue to enjoy it. I have made a truckload of money. Uh, and it just as of late has taken a little bit of profit in this because it has run very, very quickly. Um, that is not a call to sell. That is just what I did. And I want to convey, um, you know, my intention uh, with a stock that has absolutely rewarded share owners over just the short term. Do I think the action is going to subside? I do not. I think that Pluralock is extremely undervalued here with what they bring to the table and what they are looking to expand upon with their critical services business, which is worth investing in in and of itself. Uh, but their legacy uh, hardware business um, has been uh, a mainstay for the company and will look for those uh, revenues to continue to deliver, albeit with shallower margins than what we expect from the critical services business, and I expect Ian to speak about uh, the latest contracts that uh, Pluralock has knocked down, which has been um, incredible for the company, creating some tailwind. I don't think to any surprise to Pluralock. I think they do an amazing job of knocking down these contracts and using their network to uh, basically upsell existing customers out there that need cybersecurity services. This isn't rocket science, guys. This is cybersecurity. Uh, and it's fairly simple to understand that the opportunity that existed with a company that was knocking down top-end revenue at $70 million could not trade at $0.20 cents for very long. Now, like I said at the top of the video, most of the time... Value investors like myself and, and others in the space will scratch their head for many, many, many days and months on end, wondering whether or not we see the same thing that everybody else sees. And the stock market can sometimes dole out some interesting pain and suffering. So as we back up the chart here and see um, what has been going on uh, over a longer time horizon, um, I, I want to premise that the the, the three month chart uh, that I had up for you really does demonstrate uh, an atypical move in in any stock. Okay, and just because you identify opportunities doesn't mean those opportunities are going to transpire in the way that Pluralock has paid back share owners in the short term. Um, I very rarely see a stock move this aggressively, but I wanted to show you this and back this chart up a year so you could understand the massive recoil that was uh, going on and the massive tension that was building behind the stock over many, many months. And there were a number of things that happened both both on the cost-cutting side and their ability to compel share owners and understanding their uh, renewed focus on pursuing their critical services business, as well as the additional announcements of multiple contracts um, that as of late, Pluralock has knocked down. Okay. Now, in five days' time, when the announcements, um, when the next earnings call are announced for Pluralock, Expect to see Ian speak about the uh, continued cost cutting, um, you know, and the continued pursuance of those critical services businesses. But I, I don't really see this um, to be ending anytime soon. Okay. Now, for you guys that have held the stock this entire time, uh, congratulations to you. You've made a ton of money. Um, this is um, a story that for share owners before middle of this year was a fairly painful ride. And that is what stock market investing unfortunately can dole out, either a very painful ride or as of late, a very fulfilling ride. And Pluralock has delivered um, not only on what happened to the stock prior to this run up, but this run-up has been nothing short of being impressive, and it's great to report out on it. Um, again, you know, I made some some crushing money on this. 
It was glad to, I was glad to share the story at 20 cents. I did not expect this to happen so fast. We looked at the fundamentals and could not believe why it was trading at 13 million in market cap. And now approaching the 100 million in market cap, we can really reevaluate and look at what um, we expect to see on this uh, next earnings call to potentially uh, continue with this tailwind um, and, and continue to maybe march toward that potential for not only continued impressive top end revenue, uh, but potentially, uh, you know, aiming down that eventual EBITDA profit that we're all waiting for. And with that kind of top end revenue and the cost cutting that's going on, uh, I presume that they're going to have some color on that on the next earnings call. So um, guys, I just wanted to congratulate you on your ownership of Pluralock. Put the perspective in on the charts uh, and look at what has transpired at least over the last three months short term and over the last one year's time in a Pluralock security. We'll kick you back, guys, and we'll conclude the video. All right, guys, so we've come out of the stock charts here. Hope you enjoyed taking a look at this monumental run that Pluralock has been on. It's been one for the ages, um, one that uh, puts a smile on share owners' faces. Uh, it's something that we live for. It's something that we know is inevitable in um, value propositions like this, deep value propositions that Pluralock presented for quite some time. Uh, it knocked on the foreheads of a lot of investors and couldn't get a lot of attention until finally uh, it just broke loose. And it's been on this monumental tear for the last couple of months, and um, I'm, I'm happy to see it. The Pluralock team deserves it. Uh, the turnaround is real. Um, some of the cost cutting methods and the new businesses that they're winning over uh, is just starting to um, uh, starting to show uh, in this uh, latest run up in the stock price. So, guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments at the bottom of this video. And as always, thank you so much for tuning in for the entirety of the video. And good luck in your investment future.